guys. So, uh, thank you actually everyone for your concerns. Um, I'm back, I'm healthier. So Polar Pro sent me some cool stuff this week. They sent me uh, two sets of ND filters. This one is for the Mavic, it's their Cinema Series. And then they sent me this one, which is also their Cinema Series, but this is for the GoPro Hero 5. So if you've never used an ND filter before, there's a misconception that I hear from time to time where people think that it's made to enhance the color of the image. It's not. An ND filter, all it does, it's like shooting through dark sunglasses. It allows you to either A, go to a slower shutter speed, or B, shoot at a wider aperture. And the higher that shutter speed, you're gonna get what is called a strobing effect, where it's almost like your image is jumping from frame to frame. And these GoPros are typically running on, for most people, a full automatic mode. So when there's too much light in the image, the shutter speed is very high to make the image dark enough that it's usable, so thus you lose your motion blur. You can tell right away, at least I can, that the image has a more organic feel. There's motion blur in the corners, and even slight movements with my head, there is motion blur. And if you're new to cinema style shooting, that motion blur is what adds that organic feel to your footage. Here's the ND filter. I've been shooting with the 32, and all the footage that's in this video is up with the ND32, and uh, I love it. I'm, I'm really probably never gonna shoot without one of these on there. This kit in particular comes with an eight, a 16, and a 32. Choosing the right one for your particular situation just kinda comes with time and trial and error. All the GoPro Hero 5s come with this glass piece on the front, and it's meant to be a replaceable part. To change this out, you want to pull down a little bit on your lens and then you're going to twist it counterclockwise or if you're in the UK anti-clockwise and it pops right off. From there this lens pops right back on top but look deep down in the bottom of the package because it comes with three of these. This is your waterproof o-ring and I almost threw this away but it fits on top and if you don't put that in your GoPro is not waterproof anymore. From there you take your new ND filter and you do have to push hard and then it slides and locks into place. There you go. And the same is true with the Mavic. This tiny little sensor is being asked to do a heck of a lot. This kit Right here, you, it comes with six filters. Three of these are polarized ND filters, which is great because those polarized filters will cut through haze, they can cut through reflections on glass, uh, reflections on water, and there is a, a really awesome time and a place for these. Adding this filter to it has done a world of good. To where I was shooting at, you know, one five thousandth shutter speed, I was able to crank it down to you know, one sixtieth of a shutter, or some sometimes even you know one fortieth, which is right. If you look in this footage really closely, you can tell on the edges here, on the bottom of the image here, on the sides, the ground is no longer sharp. It's actually there's motion blur, and that's what you're looking for, unless you're Michael Bay. Take your lens out and they recommend you hold the camera with one hand and this doesn't thread on it literally just slides down onto the camera and you want to be sure the, the drone is off beforehand and there you go I'm sorry I didn't I didn't really want to do a, an indie filter lesson because when I see these sometimes I feel like people are sort of talking down to me and I'm really not trying to do that to you uh, but I do every once in a while hear people with a misconception about what an ND filter is. So, so my, my actual review of the Polar Pro Cinema Series for the Mavic Pro and the GoPro Hero 5 is these are an amazing product. It is a high quality, very well made product. The case is well made. It reminds me of a makeup compact. Each filter is built on a, on a metal frame. This is a professional grade piece of glass. I now keep this ND32 on my GoPro all the time. You know, as expected, I'm gonna put a link below 
Uh, thank you so much Polar Pro for sending me this. They also sent me their Drone Trucker backpack to review and I'm gonna have to get to that hopefully in a video next week. Please check these out. These aren't for everyone, but if you are wanting to get a, a more organic feel, more cinematic look to your footage, this is a very awesome, very needed accessory for either your GoPro or your Mavic Pro. So thank you so much for watching guys. Thank you so much for the well wishes. I'm feeling so much better. I've got a go-kart video coming out. I've got another video with some explosives coming out. I've also got a video coming out with, I'm told, an experimental uh, watercraft, which should be fun. No promises, but I really hope this video was helpful or at least informative. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one.